today I've got a rather unusual commission. This is Corbier Lighthouse in Jersey. It's quite a famous lighthouse. It was built in 1873. I'm going to start by making the body, that's this section here, out of a piece of one mil silver. And then after that, I'll start then to do the bottom sections here and then work my way up doing that. So There's quite a lot of work to do this particular piece, but uh, it's going to be an enjoyable job. It's a little bit different. Why I'm speaking at the moment, um, a lot of people ask, why can't I make the, the videos longer? I understand they're very interesting, but I am limited to time with YouTube. So you can only put in the basics of it, but it gives you an idea how these pieces are made. It's built so long ago, I can't find any actual working drawings of it. So all I've got is these photographs. I've got quite a lot of them, but I've scaled it down to the correct size now. But what I've done here to give me the diameters that I need, I've just made up these little pieces of silver wire. So this will give me the diameter I need for the top and the bottom. So I'll mark this out now on a piece of card, turn it round, then I'll transfer that to silver. Now I've marked it all out here. Just kind of cut out the silver with a pair of snips. I've cut out the top section. So we cut it out like this. It's quite thick to cut, but uh, the old, these are old tin snips that uh, coppersmiths and tinsmiths would have used. And they're ideal. You could saw it all out, but it takes too long. So that's the pieces. All this is reused again. We don't waste anything with the current prices of silver. So I'll cut a line here, then I can turn it around on a mandrel. Incidentally, this is all recycled silver. It's all ethically sourced, so we try and do our little bit as well as we're going along. So I'm going to take this down here. Same with the other side. Now what's going to happen here, it's quite thick being one mil, but I've got to do it by hand. Start to turn it round. This is then going to form, as I explained to you, the body. Yeah, that's quite strong. So that will now give me this, this part here of the body as we see that coming on. Right, now I'm soldering the joint together. I'm using enameling solder, very high temperature. So you can't get it to flow quite so good. But this colour matches exactly the silver when it's done together. see when I'm using easy or extra easy solder it flows really well straight down the joint and so high temperature this it's very lovely but I'll get it flat after on the mandrel and then I'll remove that excess solder. Now I'll plunge that into the cold water and that would have uh, softened it slightly for me to carry on. I've just been using a standard hammer like this just to round it and get the taper correct all the way down because if you look at the photographs on the, the actual lighthouse uh, it's got a slight taper to it so that's done but what I've got to do now is throw out the bottom section here like on the bottom of the lighthouse has got so I'll use what they call a spinning jenny to do that. Now the body's all made here what I've got to do is I've got to get this little section here and I don't want to solder a piece on. I want to make this all out of one piece. It's a better job. So I'm going to use an old fashioned tool here called a Jenny. And if I turn the handle around, you can see it starts to throw the edge up. If I go like this once, to give you an idea. As you can see on there, it's just started with that. So I'll bring this out even more. It's got to come out two or three mil yet. And then I can then work on the whole thing. So I'll get that step that's got like on the original drawings. Now I've thrown the top section out here that matches on that. I've now got to use a piece of six and a half mil solid bar, uh, round bar to go around here. The problem is six and a half mil is quite hard to turn around. So I'm just going to kneel it and then that'll mean it'll soften it up so I can turn it all around. Now 
that's a lot softer now so I can bend it around the mandrel to get it round. Right, file that square on the ends and then I'll enamel solder it very hard. So I'll just square the ends up. That will then eventually fit onto the top here. Now the body is basically done and I've made this top section. Now, I don't want to fit, it's a nice tight fit, but I don't want to knock it right down yet or solder it because when we come to engrave all the lines on, uh, it's easier without that. But what I have to do on here, I've made that section, but I need to make this little ring and everything that goes around the top. It'll take the wires that come off. So I've made this piece here. This was made just out of a strip of silver. And then I turn it around a mandrel, which is a round, a round solid piece of bar. And I can get it all made up like that by hand. And this will then fit on. It's a real nice snug fit. So what I'm going to do is solder that down and then I'll work out the holes where the lines are going to go for the uprights, for the wires. The wires again, like I say, are going to go in here. So it's all coming together very good. You've seen me before making this little rim up that goes around here. And what I've done is I've drilled it all out and silver soldered these wires in. Some are wider than the other. Then some are on a taper going up and some are on a taper coming down. So I've got my little piece here. And this is the section then that's all got the pieces over. You can see they're all a bit, they're not straight yet until I get them all done correctly. But what I'll do now is I'll fold, the, fold those correctly, get them all the same height, and then I'll make the top section up. little ring on. I'm just going to solder it down to tack it and I can bring the other one off and then level all the top pieces off. Now we just put the second ring on, tack that one down and then I'll level all these other pieces off. Now I've got this section here made up. I've got to put, make this little dome here. So this will be made out of a disc of silver. This goes on here, and then the top sections with the ladders and the weather vane on the top. So what I'm gonna do is, this piece will fit on there after. Um, so I need to dome this now to form the top section. And that's just done by blocking, using a small blocking hammer, going on the tree trunk here. Keep turning it around like this to get it even. That's the start of that top section. Now this is the little top section of the lighthouse. Pick this up and solder this on. The slight blue flame you can see, that's just Argo Tech to protect the silver. So I'll solder that down and then I'm gonna solder a little rim around the top. Now we don't use any acid so I'm just going to use hot water and that will remove the flux. You could just about notice the solder's flowed around even though I'm using uh, enameling solder which is really you've got to get red hot to get it to go. It doesn't flow so well as extra easy but that's now soldered so I'll remove this and then what I'm going to do then is put this in some hot water and that will remove the flux that you see. What I've been working on today is to make this dome section here with the little ring that sits on the top, then a tiny little ring that goes there. And then I've got to make the top section where the spike goes down into the center. Incidentally, if you find I'm a little bit out of focus or anything, I just film it on my phone and I'm, I'm not using a tripod, it's just done with my hand. But when I make the pieces, I tend to make them all in little sections and I then clip them together she can get a really snug fit before we do any soldering. Now this piece here, this is the top ring that I was telling you about that'll take the dome piece. So that's all coming together really good. On this angle, you can see that all these are at different angles. This is how they're meant to be. It might look with the picture in the background as if it's slightly out of scale, but all the measurements are correct. But the problem is we need the bottom section here to bring everything in correctly. Once I've done that, I'll then cut the door out and the windows, and then it'll be engraved with all the block work. The 
solder the little ring on the top here. I've just soldered the top section on here. So that's that done, I'll have to take the little well away. I'm just going to solder on the, the base, just join it together. This is the piece that goes on here. So I'm just going to solder that around and then what I'll do after that is fit it to the, the bottom of the lighthouse there. Now I've made this particular piece here nice and thick. That's going to slide down there and then be soldered on around the base. And that will give me the correct step out that I need. So I've just got to fit that a little bit more and then solder that down. I've done a few more bits and pieces like putting the little aerial on the top and the little spigot to take the weather vane. But what I've got to do is make this bottom section here. I've already marked it out in a piece of silver. You could probably see the line and I'm just going to carry on cutting it out. And then it's got to be finished in a satin finish, this piece here and this here, because when the railings go up, if ever the people working inside the lighthouse are out walking, we want non-slip finishes on. So I'm going to cut that out, dome it slightly, then that will then be soldered down onto the, the main body. I've been working on this flat bottom section here. Uh, this is it. Basically, it was quite a lot of work to get that because it's completely round and I have to put a little edge on it. And um, I use a stake like this, what they call a bottom stake. It's just a, a little piece of metal that's got the edge cut down and I go around with a very fine mallet and then finish it off with a little hammer. I've uh, started by hallmarking this piece with my Guernsey hallmarks, but that's gonna go onto the bottom here. And then the lighthouse will be soldered down onto that section. And what'll happen next, I've gotta make this section here to go around. Last job will be when I've made all this little house and everything, um, will be to start to mark out where the windows and doors go. And then the next thing will be to engrave the lines where the um, where the block work is. So I'm just working now is fitting that top little piece there. Then I'll do the bottom edge here. This is the bottom piece that's been completed that goes across here. And then this will then go, it'll then be capped off with this cap that you see me making. That'll go on there, that clips down really tight. And then I'll solder this section here down onto the base, but I won't solder the bottom piece in yet. I need to work on the inside to cut the windows out. And I've also been making up the little handrails. These are the pieces that go into the top here. They've got to all be drilled and I'm going to bolt them down because this is going to be in a satin finish on the top. And there's the little nuts and that that go with it. These little pieces have all been cast. So what it means, you make one piece up and then you can cast them to get them all accurate. I'm working on this light that goes in the center here. I've made it up as such. I've just got to do a little bit of finishing on it yet. And I'm also, you can see I've fitted the windows in, in their raw state and the door, but I'm also working on this little house that goes at the bottom here. It's actual all where all the electrics are held for the light. So in its raw state, I've marked it out just like this here. And you'll notice down the side, the steps. So I've marked those out. You can probably just pick up there. And I've also done my first prototype. This is it in its sort of raw state. This is gonna be drilled down through here. And this is part of the railings, they're all threaded. So I've just got to drill it and bolt it down. So it's looking good. Right, this is the little room that houses all the electrics. I've just got to solder down all the joints. That goes on the angle like that. And then I've made the uh, the steps up. They're gonna rest in here, coming right into the corner. That'll get butt up tight to it. Um, so I'll true it all up, start to solder that section together. But uh, I need to leave it so that just this part here is on its own without the top on so that we can engrave it all. And I don't need those pieces sticking out at the bottom. 
I made the little house that goes on the side and I'm working on the steps and this little piece here, very thick. This is what the railings are going to go into. This will then go up onto the side here. Uh, like that, accurate. But I've got to solder all this together before I go too far. This here is the, the bottom section of where the lighthouse stands. But with the engraving that's got to go around here, I've got to make it up in pieces. So I've made the little, uh, the little house that goes on the side here and the steps. Uh, I've now got to solder this lot together and then remove it from that so it can be engraved. And I'll cut all around here. This will all be then um, just used for something else. So first job now is to, I'll put the Argo Tech on it to get it hot. Let the Argo Tech burn off. That'll stop the fire stain. And then I'll start to solder it. You'll notice I've got a little pin down here. I've just drilled that in, a little silver pin to hold it all together because it's a bit of a balancing act to try and get this to uh, all come together to be able to be soldered. What I've done here, I've got lots of little small pieces that I can drop onto the edges, heat it up and get them soldered together. This is it now soldered down. I'm just going to cut it out. Now the pieces are all basically made up. I can start putting it all together. So this section is going to go on here. Now it's central. I've just put some Argo Tech on it. As I've explained to you before, that just protects the silver from the high temperature. Then I'll just silver solder the two sections together clean it and then it's ready for engraving. Right, now the main body of the lighthouse is made. Yesterday I soldered the bottom piece on this here. So I'm gonna give it a rough polish with a mop like this, a hard sizeful mop and it'll just remove all the scratches ready for the engraving. So the finishing, this is how it's done. This is a, like a carbon rondom paste. This spins at about two and a half, two and a half thousand RPM. Put a little bit of this on, and then we'll start like this here. So I polish it one way, then I go across the other way. If there's any slight marks in it, this will remove them. So I'm going to go all over the item like this here, the whole lot remove all around here, and then we're ready then to be engraved. I started this morning on this section here that goes on the top of the lighthouse. Um, it's now made in its raw state, except for filing and cleaning. But uh, the letters are all in 18 karat yellow gold on the little arrow. That clips in the top here. As you push it down, it'll clip like that right at the bottom. And you could probably see two little holes here. This is going to form the ladder, a ladder that comes like that with the rungs coming across. As I presume, if ever they've got to get out on a service anything, they can get up to this section here and then being outside, they can come up on the ladder to do whatever. But I'm going to make that quite a good way by clipping the two pieces of wire in here and bending them up about four mil. And I'll do the same at the bottom so I don't have to solder that down at all. Once I've done that there, I can take this top section off and gild the light that, get, that you see inside, that I can solder this and this down. And then I've also got to drill the holes at the bottom here. These are going to take the railings as such, like that. This is part of the railings where I've just done a, a basic one just to see, and I've drilled the holes through to take the wires. But this has been cast. I've made the, the knots separate. You can still see a bit of the sprue on it that'll be cut off. But this will be easier for me to drill the holes down through here and then run this right down through and tighten up the nuts from the inside so I don't have to solder them in. So um, once all that's done, this top section is all made, except for cleaning and a slight bit of finishing, I can then solder this down through here to the main body of the lighthouse. Um, and then I'm pleased to say it's done. I've got four or five big commissions coming up after this one. 
but this has taken quite a few weeks to make this piece but uh, all looking very good and it's been a bit different to do a lighthouse so what I'm doing now, I'm putting the Guernsey hallmarks on. These are in reverse, they're all carved out. And on the back of the lighthouse, put the Guernsey hallmarks on. So you rest it like on this stake here and then give it a hard tuck down. Now this is my maker's mark. This is the map of Guernsey. And then on the inside you've got my initial BR for Bruce Russell. The next one we use is the Royal Seal of Edward I. This is our island uh, crest, uh, our island seal. So this one will go on next. Got to stamp them really hard to go into the silver. But the silver is very thick, so it's great. Right, so that's two on. And then I'll have the date letter that'll go on, which is the Guernsey flag with 2022. And then I'll have the silver marks, so that'll be the four marks that'll go on it. Well, now the night house is finished. It's been quite a lot of work to produce it, but I'm well pleased with it. The weather vane is finished in 18 karat, the initials and the pointer, uh, 18 karat gold. The light in the center, it's got the actual original light. It's got a tingy yellow to it, dark, so I've done it in an antique gold. Uh, it's all finished as we skim down here. And uh, it stands on a little piece of granite. And it's got my Guernsey hallmarks on as well. Um, it's actually standing 38 centimetres tall and it weighs 38.5 ounces. Anyway, I've hoped, uh, I hope you're pleased with watching me making these sorts of things. If you uh, give me a like, I'd be most appreciative. Thanks a lot from Bruce and Guernsey. Bye-bye now.